What's going on guys, Justin Rodriguez here, Collection Yachts, bringing you guys aboard the 2020 Boston Whaler 330 Outridge. We're going to start up on the bow section here today. Start off by talking about the through hole windlass system. Open the hatch, everything's very accessible. You have your windlass system here, your tool, in case it loosens up on, you can tighten it up. Your very user friendly remote up down power as well as a fresh water valve you can connect the hose to, rinse off the chain as it comes up, rinse off your anchor and your clevis there because those do uh, tend to give out on you after a long time of you know, use. So there is a lot of storage on this 330. Start with one little spot up on the bow. Nice storage area. It actually does hold the mount for the table that comes up on the bow section here. There's a storage compartment down below here where this customer uh, has his lines and fenders stored away in here. Uh, it's a dry compartment. If there does get any water in there, there is a, uh, a through hole that goes down and back to the bilge pump. There is a full lounge seating area up here. You lift this up and there is a lot of storage down below. Uh, the owner uses it for his snorkel gear, his life jackets, any hoses, any cables uh, for power, and shore cords. So down below here, uh, if you open this compartment here, there is a head, a sink, and a shower, as well as a couple compartments that you can store a couple things in, you know, like toilet paper and maybe some uh, you know, products that you would use in your bathroom. So this is the helm area. Obviously stainless steel steering wheel with a swivel. Twin Garmin 16 inch screens. The Vessel View Mercury screen. This boat does have a searchlight on top as well as the VHF. And active trim for the Mercury engines. Fusion head unit and a joystick piloting. Uh, this feature here does have Skyhook, which is a fantastic feature uh, if you're trying to keep yourself in one spot, if you're waiting on a bridge, waiting for a train bridge, good stuff like that, as well as autopilot and multiple tracking waypoints. So this is the aft section of the 330 Outreach. Uh, it does have a pull down tabletop here with a couple cup holders and a spot that holds a cutting board right in place so it won't slide around on you. And it's uh, great for making cocktails, putting out some platters for guests, all that good stuff. So there are two macerated and insulated fish boxes, one on port, one on starboard side. Very big, fits some big wahoos, big mahis, big tunas all in them, no problem. Uh, down below in this big hatch is the all your pumps, all your seacocks, all your bilges, your batteries, as well as your another table. So in the aft section here, we do have a pull down bench. Very easy to pull out. It's just, you guess, another spot on the boat to sit down and relax. In this back area also, we do have a 50-gallon live well. Uh, we've had about three dozen goggle eyes and about three or four dozen pilchards in here at one time. No issues, no overcrowding. Very big live well. Powering us, we have twin... 300 horsepower Mercury Verados. On board, we do have a 300 gallon fuel tank, 40 gallon fresh water tank, and a six and a half gallon holding tank. 